had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride out the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday before we get into the rest of the video i just wanted to mention that today's video is in collab with another youtube mom her name's allison she has a one-year-old named kason and is also a military wife so if you'd like to check out her channel and her video i'll leave them both linked down below well if you're new here hi my name is tati and if you're not welcome back to another vlog as you guys saw i finally woke up early in the morning i haven't woken up that early in so long but it felt so good to like prioritize myself at least for a little bit in the morning before the boys wake up like I feel so good I have so much energy right now I wanted to get up early and like start my week off right because last week I kid you guys not it was such a bad week for me I don't know what was going on I had the worst insomnia of my entire life so I wanted to, like I went to sleep yesterday and I just made like a mental note to myself and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to wake up early, I'm going to work out for once and prioritize myself and I can't tell you guys how good that felt. Like I've missed this feeling and I feel like I was just being so lazy and I was just like, not wanting to do it not wanting to get up early in the morning but i'm so happy i did it i got a good workout in i showered and i put on some makeup so i just feel super good right now so my groceries actually just got um delivered right now so i'm gonna give you guys a small grocery haul i had actually gone to walmart last night and for some reason my walmart by my house had nothing like I think they were probably restocking stuff because they had nothing like anything that I was trying to look for they didn't have so I just got the little bit of stuff that I got yesterday and then I came home and I just placed a delivery order for right now so I'm gonna go get that and give you guys a small grocery haul before the kids wake up I think Ezekiel's already awake actually so I'm gonna go grab him after I give you guys the grocery haul so I just brought everything inside and I actually got quite a bit of stuff so I'm just gonna be pulling stuff out of the bags so bear with me <laughs> in this first bag i got some kodiak cake muffin power cups mark's been liking these for breakfast and he just takes them to work and he makes them there so he's just been loving those i got some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce because i'm going to be making albondigas tomorrow since it's going to be raining so it's going to be so good i got some honey so we had ran out. Also got my favorite body armors, some rosemary. I got broccoli. I got some asparagus. I also got some strawberries. 
and some blueberries and i got two packs of ground chicken because like i said i'm going to be making albondigas this week and today i'm actually making pot roast to prepare it in the crock pot so i'm going to be showing you guys that later how i do it so i just got some roast got some vanilla extracts because we had run out and i'm going to make banana bread i got some ranch seasoning some i think this is oh yeah this is for the pot roast i don't know if i'm going to use this it's the slow cooker savory pot roast like spices because i usually put in my own i just i think i just grabbed it just because and then i got the boys a ton of their sopita their favorite one because we had ran out also got them some fruit snacks this house can never be without fruit snacks i also got some pancake mix because we were almost out and i got some greek yogurt some plain greek yogurt because i'm going to be making a recipe with that and some hash browns are the boys favorite they always fight over these they love lemon lays those are their favorites just like their mommy and these are andre's favorite he hasn't had these in a while it's just the veggie straws in the zesty ranch flavor oh i got some hawaiian rolls and i also got everything bagels i got a huge I got a huge cantaloupe, got some avocados, and some onions, the boring stuff. And I also got some paper towels, and some, and some tomatoes. And that's pretty much it for the stuff that I ordered last night. I did, like I said, go to Walmart last night, so I did just get the stuff that they didn't have there. So... That's it for my little grocery haul. Now let me go get my my baby boy. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your channel now. <laughs> Good morning. Say so we're gonna watch Moana. So I'm just gonna put a movie on for him while I get his breakfast ready. Yummy! <laughs> pink. pink. Yeah, I'm wearing a pink shirt. You're wearing blue. Blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna get the pot roast ready okay. while Andre's still sleeping, and I still have a little bit of time. So let's do that. So before I could get started, this little guy woke up. So I'm gonna get him settled first, and then we'll finish up the pot roast. Hey, good morning. <laughs> so this is all you're going to need to make the Mississippi pot roast and don't worry I'm going to be having all the ingredients listed down below in my description box if you're interested in making it. So I'm just taking out the meat from the packaging and I'm going to be seasoning it with the ranch seasoning packet all over because you are going to want to sear the meat in olive oil before you put the meat in the crock pot. And I'm just going to be washing my potatoes and making sure they're all nice and clean before I start chopping them up. Like I said, you're not going to want to miss this step. This is very crucial to having your meat. You also want to slice up some butter because it's going to give it so much flavor. And these are the seasonings that I'm going to be putting on top of my meat. And then I just cover it over with beef broth. I prefer beef broth over water. I just feel like it gives it the most flavor. And then you're just going to want to put your butter on the pot. And then add your rosemary. And I also added pepper chilies. I just didn't want to film that. And then you're just going to want to cover it and leave it for 8 hours. 
Alright guys, so I just finished putting the pot roast together in the crock pot and pretty simple You just leave it on low for about eight hours longer it cooks in the crock pot. I feel like the better the meat tastes like it just gets super soft so it's barely nine, so I'm pretty sure by the time Mark comes home, it's gonna be ready. And I didn't add the carrots in just yet because I don't want the carrots to get too mushy or like too overcooked. So I'm gonna add them by like the halfway mark, like around when it's like four hours. Um, I'm, that's when I'm gonna add them in. And I'm also gonna add some celery. So that's why you guys didn't see me put it in there, but I'm gonna be adding those two things in there. For the sides, I think I'm gonna make white rice and mashed potatoes because Mark can take that for lunch tomorrow and yeah I'm super excited sorry if you can hear the dishwasher is like super loud but yeah I'm just gonna um make myself something to eat I haven't ate yet I think I'm gonna make myself like a shake or a smoothie and then I'm gonna get started on their playroom because their playroom needs some love it needs to be picked up and organized I'll show you guys in a minute how messy it is but it's honestly not the boys who did it it was me who created the mess because like i told you guys in the beginning i dumped out all their toys thinking i was gonna organize it last week and last week was just but you know what it's a new week we're getting this week started off right and i just feel so good so yeah that's your guys little update so i just finished eating i made myself a bagel too because i was kind of hungry and <laughs> Now I'm gonna show you guys the playroom. <sighs> I have a lot to do in here. And we're gonna get it done together. So let me show you. There's toys literally everywhere. Everywhere. And it's not the boy's fault, it's, it's mommy's fault. I, like I said, had the brilliant idea of putting all the toys on the floor so I can like rearrange stuff and it's also because they have like a lot of like random they have a lot of random toys everywhere so I was like you know what I'm gonna sort them out and organize everything because when it's like too messy they just don't won't even come in here which is understandable so I'm gonna organize it and get it done Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance finished their playroom and it looks so good so happy with it let me show you guys I vacuumed I put all their toys away I even threw away some of their toys and that was my plan and the little table is nice and clean the little reading nook so stinking cute but now it's all nice and clean so it's been quite some time since I last updated you guys it's already I think three in the afternoon the boys are taking a nap and I just finished cleaning and like picking up the living room and stuff like that today has just been a super productive day for me it's been a really good Monday so I'm super proud of myself and right now I'm just gonna be snacking on some apples and peanut butter and just catching up on some YouTube while I get some alone time from the boys and just chilling and yeah so i just wanted to update you guys i didn't vlog a lot while i was cleaning because my camera was about to die and so i ended up putting my battery to charge so my camera's charged again and yeah so like i said i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna be um watching some youtube videos and just hanging out having some time to myself
So the boys just woke up from their nap and they're both hungry. So I'm gonna attempt to have Andre eat something because he has not been eating well these past few days. I don't know what's been going on. Like he has just become such a picky eater. But I made them some sopita. Hopefully they can eat that. And I think I'm gonna get them ready and we're gonna go for a little walk around the neighborhood just to get them out the house because Mark texted me and he said that he's not going to be home until pretty late again. He had a really long and late week last week and I think it's going to be the same week this week which sucks but that's life in the military. You just never know. They don't have set schedule. But yeah, I'm just going to get them some lunch. I'm going to get them settled in their chairs and they can eat something while I change and then we're going to go out for a little walk. newspaper from the floor and he's trying to read the letters it's so cute I'm probably gonna pick it up and throw it away because it's driving me insane but we were supposed to we we're supposed to come to the park with Mark but he's having another long day at work which sucks at least the boys are having so much fun so I'm really happy that I was able to take him out <laughs> even if it's just for a little bit are you having fun? Oh, you want to read it again? G E A T O. Good job. Good job. <laughs> You're a doggy. <laughs> All right, guys. So we just got home from the park from our little walk. It was much needed. As you guys can tell, I was sweating a little bit. Much needed to get out the house. The boys had. So much fun. We were probably out for like a good 45 minutes. So that was a lot of fun. Now, <laughs> um, Mark's still not home yet and it's already about to be, oh, it's already six and he's still not home. So that kind of sucks, but I'm going to shred the, the pot roast cause it's ready. And I'm gonna hopefully be able to wait for him to eat dinner together, but I'm so hungry and it smells so good in here, but I'm gonna try to wait for him because I know he's starving too. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Like I said, you know when it's ready when you literally just like pick up the meat and it like falls apart. It's so good. I didn't even need to like take it out or anything because it was already falling apart. Daddy's home! Daddy's home! Daddy's You wanna go see daddy? Go open the door. Excited for the roast? Heck yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I just served Mark and I some pot roast. This We're gonna so do good. a taste test. I think this is the best one I've made yet. Mm -hmm. It's so When did you start it? Good. Um like a couple hours ago, obviously. At nine. Oh Jesus, what time is it? Like seven? Yeah. It's well it's, they say that the What's um, the extender time? That the longer it's in there, the it's the better. So Hurry up! Oh. <laughs> I wanna eat! Let me get bread. Mm. Wanna do like a cheers? Yeah. Cheers. Oh my god. Damn. That's good, huh? Cracker Barrel don't even do it like this. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, that's really good. That's really flavorful. I need to make this for Omar. <laughs> Just for me, Omar. <laughs> 
But we're gonna eat dinner and catch up because we haven't seen each other all day. And damn it, this is good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let me eat. <laughs> <laughs>